this is Andre of GVGNAU. Thank you very much for listening and giving me your time. Um, yeah, another game I did that would fit the Wii U. And I gotta accredit this this thought to Malik JC because he uh, made a comment on I think the video I had made it was uh, Helian, the Helian Cree video that I did. Um, <clears throat> And that's a. Uh, this is why I came up with the like I got the thought going in my head uh, to. Well, obviously by the name, another Legend of Zelda game with a, a different take on the universe. So, uh, yeah. Uh, Shadows of Hyrule: Path of the Gerudo, as I have dubbed this idea to be, is would be a Prince of Persia styled Zelda game. Whereas obviously Hillian Creed would be Assassin's Creed style. And Hillian Creed was more for me the idea was more about she, the Sheikah. Whereas this could like I said be about the Gerudo and allow us to learn something about how they got to be in the position that they're in. Um why they're viewed as such by the rest of the Helian people why why they're kind of just looked down upon and that would that would be cool and that would, and then the prince of persia style gameplay i think would definitely fit those characters or, or though that that race of beings in in the zelda universe and of like really is not too much i can really say i mean um What's that? The, the there were two recent Assassin's Creed games that kind of used the Prince of Persia style for gameplay. So really, like this is a, this is a, this would be another opportunity for Ubisoft to use the Zelda franchise and to make money off of it. And heck, it could be like a really cheap game. It could be it's like a downloadable download only type game. Be really cheap and quick. <clears throat> and be something that allows for you to have like a um a level editor in it outside of just playing the main game for like the the story and the intrigue of the Gerudo and doing the uh the platforming in the the Prince of Persia gameplay style and i i would i personally would enjoy enjoy it and when, <clears throat> when I'm talking about Prince of Persia, I'm meaning the 2D style Prince of Persia, not the 3D style Prince of Persia. Though, either honestly, either one could work. But I think preference would go to the 2D style because it's a little bit more intricate, I, I, I feel. And honestly, like I said, it could be like a quick download title, and if they did it in a 2D style, it'd be easier. It would make more sense for them to... To make it a download only type of, of, of deal. Plus, honestly, I, I miss the type of games that have you taking a run at something <clears throat> and then you have to be aware of the different delays and things for your reactions before you make like a, a jump or something. Sort of like how uh, Flashback is, which is another game that was in the, the same style as uh, Prince of Persia. <clears throat> at least personally for me that, that's how I would look at I would enjoy playing something like that so I mean this is a simple idea like I don't really have to go into too much detail with this because it's a simple idea this is a, just another situation where you could apply a particular formula to the Zelda universe <clears throat> that could open up different things like this is another opportunity for different items from the legend of zelda like the hook shot or um uh the claw sh that that claw thing that was used in um i was about to say wind waker but it wasn't wind waker it was the minish cap but there's there's opportunity to use different items that were used in the legend of zelda and in this type of game so that, that's really all I wanted to point out. And that's it. Thank you very much for listening. Keep your eyes and ears up for more of my stuff. And until the next time, enjoy your games. Peace out.